Hey guys! Okay, so today I have got the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean Volume Mascara. This is my request. Thank you so much for putting your request in the dis description in the comments. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, I have seen this floating about, of course, and I know it was a new release, and I knew it was a new release, um, but to be quite honest, anything that's clean um, has never worked out for me for the most part. Um, especially like mascaras have been the worst for natural type mascaras. For example, I have a review on this one. This is the Burt's Bees Volume Mascara. It was not good. Um, I have tried, um, I'm not sure if they're clean or not, but all the Bare Minerals um, mascaras look great not all of them. Some of them look great. One of them was like just nothing special, but they still wanted to charge me 20 bucks for it. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I just have not had good luck with natural type mascaras. Um, the, all the bare minerals ones would transfer on me real bad. They were just not good. So we'll try this one today, but that's the reason why if you're wondering like, well, how come she hasn't tried that one? And she's kind of laid on the bandwagon. Well, that's why I just was like, I just don't want to try one that I just have an, a feeling is not going to be good. But I have heard good things about it. The brush looks promising. Um, so we'll just see what happens now. I did just get a warning that my battery is running low. So if this is a quick video, you know, that's why. So I'm just going to make sure the brush is fully coated. Give it its, it does feel really thick in the tube. So that could be good. I don't like my mascaras to be too runny, too thin, too, um, you know, watery feeling. I like them to be a little bit right in the middle, not too thin, not too thick. So, all right. And this is what we've got going on here. Honestly, I really tried to make sure the, the brush was coated well. Um, and it doesn't look like there's a ton of product on there that's going to gunk up my lashes. So we'll just see. So I'll get a little bit closer. You guys can see, hopefully you guys can see. And we'll just try it out. This is supposed to be, you know, real very volumizing and all that. I'm seeing length definition. Not a ton of volume. It's looking okay. I want to say this was about $8 or so. Um, and at this point with the them done, I feel like first impression, it's okay. It's not terrible at all. Um, not terrible at all. That's all I can say, but it's not wowing me. The good news is that I didn't have to wipe the brush off and it's not gumming my lashes all up together. They're not sticking together. I don't know if you can see. It looks nice, but it's not anything where I'm just like, run out and buy this immediately. It's been a while since that has actually happened with mascara. I would say if you're looking for a pretty natural looking mascara, like on the everyday, nothing real bold and glamorous, this might be a good one for you. Um, <clears throat> I kind of don't want to wipe off the brush um, because I feel like I don't need to. Oh, just dropped a little cap. Um, but I am going to re-dip and uh, we'll just try the other eye and see what happens. I just feel like this isn't, is, it's not applying too much product. So that is a plus in favor of this mascara. brush doesn't seem too fat. It's nice, it's just not... It's just not making me crazy, you know?
and it, my eyes are starting to burn a little bit. Okay, so I feel like pretty fluttery, pretty lashes. That's what this is giving me. Good length, good definition. Um, not a ton of volume. I know the, the big sell on this one was that it's very volumizing. I don't think it is that volumizing, at least not for me. Um, and it says it's formulated without parabens, sulfates, talc, mineral oil. So clean formula, smudge proof volume clump proof, wear proof. It's got argan oil and marula oil. So yeah, it says it's safe for contact lens wearers and sensitive eyes. Now I don't know about that because I'm starting to have a little bit of burning eyes a little bit. Um, and that's not something that's unique to this mascara. That happens a lot. But I will say that the, I think it was the lash last fusion mascara it was in a purple tube just like this that one didn't burn my eyes and I wore that a lot for that reason <clears throat> excuse me my recent favorites for mascara have been see if I can find them um, the elf lash it loud volume volumizing mascara and mostly because it doesn't smudge and it's sort of like a tubing formula so that keeps it from smudging real bad on me and um, doesn't burn my eyes as much. The Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara, really good. I really like this one. This one is moderately burny on my eyes. But again, is this one tubing? I can't remember if this one's tubing or not, but it's really good. I really do like it, like the way it makes my lashes look. And the Maybelline um, Lash, Lash Sensational Sky High, again, kind of a tubing mascara. So it doesn't burn and you can apply this over top of other mascaras and it will kind of lessen the burning um, if you have very sensitive eyes, or at least it does for me. And also it, that makes it pretty smudge free. So this is a good one. Real good. I've been using this a lot lately and it's really good. But again, my three favorite ones of the moment. Um, in the past, uh, one of my favorites was, <clears throat> excuse me, I did like the Revlon So Fierce mascara was good for me. Um, the... I think it was Maybelline Colossal Big Shot was a good one for me and the CoverGirl Exhibitionist I liked um, and then the Milani Most Wanted Lashes was really good um, for how I like my lashes. Now if you like lashes like this and you're like that's exactly what I want then this may be your your girl but for me it's kind of meh. Um, again not terrible and I'm not bashing it at all it's just not I'm not like, oh my goodness, this is the one. So, okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will wear it for the rest of the day. I will update my thoughts in the description below if it's smudged or whatever, um, or if my eyes got real burny and I had to take it off or whatever. Sometimes that does happen. Not often, but sometimes it does. So um, I will update all that information in the description. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, ding my bell, and I'll see you in the next one.